When the family found they couldn't ride out the storm, they called in the cavalry in the form of the U.S. Coast Guard. When they got scared, it really scared me. Penny Adams, her husband Scott, and two sons were enjoying what they thought would be a fun weekend on the water. In Florida, I wanted though, to they, tell them the storm was coming. Off, there's always storms coming up, though. And Grandma worries too much, you know. <laughs> we figured the storm was coming, okay? Things turned sour for the family of four when their houseboat began taking on water three quarters of a mile from shore. That's when Penny's mother, Judy Filer, decided to call the Coast Guard. At around 10 a.m. Sunday morning, Debbie was beginning to make its presence felt here in Yankee Town. At around that same time, BM2 Morelli and his crew of three got a distress call from a family of four. And under 15 minutes from this very vessel, they launched out into the Gulf of Mexico to begin their successful rescue mission. Morelli says that for his crew of three, it wasn't as simple as it sounds. I would say maybe uh, once, twice a year that we get a really good distress call of a boat taking on water and we go out and physically pull people off a boat. Debbie swept through Yankee Town with sustained winds of 30 to 40 knots, three foot seas and tidal surges. The crew was only able to rescue three of those on board the houseboat before their hydraulic line broke. Meanwhile, Scott Adams was alone and drifting on a houseboat that was quickly filling with water. There was a time that I didn't think that we'd get my husband off the boat. And there was a time when I didn't know how long we'd have to wait for them to bring the other boat when their boat broke. And it was at that time Morelli called the Coast Guard station as well. Within minutes, three Coast Guard members arrived and were able to reach Adams and bring the group of people now totaling eight back to shore. And I watched each one of them get off that boat and walk up that ramp and I cried. Each one. And saw that they were safe. People just don't know. They just don't realize. Unless they've been through it. Been through an experience that some would consider a miracle. And I just sat there and I said, God, bring my little girl home. Bring her back. And he did. And he used the Coast Guard. <laughs> and the Coast Guard Eventually, the houseboat washed ashore near Cedar Key, about 10 miles from where the rescue took place. Chris Gilmore, TV20 News.